Hokey dokey. In this problem, I'll work out an example for the midpoint sum as well as the trapezoidal sum with a crazy number of sub intervals for each of them. So let's not waste any time. We have X and Y in the first and second rows respectively. We are starting with an X value of one represented by the one here. And we will split up one to 13 into 144 partitions. So we will do equals 13 minus one divided by 144, and that'll give us the width of each rectangle. So rather than just do, say, 1 plus 0 0.08333, which would give us 1.08333, the first rectangle will be between these two values, right? But the height of that rectangle will come from the y value that corresponds to the x value that is halfway between these two x values. So we need to find what that x value is that's halfway between these. How do we do that? Instead of just doing 1 plus 0 0.08333, let's do 1 plus 0 0.08333 divided by 2. So we're cutting that value in half, which means if we go um, you know, if we were to add that one more time, we would get our 1.08333 here. And so from here to here will be our first rectangle. But we're not concerned with either of those values. We're concerned with the value that's in the middle because that x value will tell us the corresponding y value that will tell us the height of that first rectangle because we're using the midpoint sum. So now the efficient way to go about this is starting from this value since we know we'll actually use this x value, we want to add not this amount each time. We don't want to add 0 0.08333 over two, because then we'll have like a ton of x values that we won't actually be using. So we instead want to start at this value. And since we know the width will still actually be 0 0.08333 for each rectangle, let's start here and add 0 0.08333 all the way across until we're at uh, something just before 13. So let's give it a go. We're going to do equals this value plus 0 0.08333. I'm just going to put a bunch of threes because I believe it's meant to be repeated infinitely. So we have this, this. Now from this point, we want to click and drag this corner all the way till we have a nice value close to 13. We actually went too far, that's impressive. All right, so going back, backtracking a little bit, we are going to stop just before 13. So we're looking at 12.95, I believe, yep. So we're gonna stop there. All right, we have all our X values that are actually going to count, starting from 1.04 here. Again, we don't really need the one, but you know we might as well just go ahead and start with, with finding the Y value for that X value. So plugging in the function. We will do equal sign of 1.86 times x squared, which would be b squared, b1 squared, raised to the second, close that off. Now you might be asking, what about the sign? Don't forget the, the sign squared. We want to put everything we've just typed in, excluding the equal sign, in parentheses, and then we'll raise the entire thing to the second. So that's equivalent of raising sine to the second is raising sine of all that stuff to the second. So it equals, and now the fun part, we'll click and drag this all the way down to our last value. Now, home stretch. The next step will be two. It equals, we want our width. So 0 0.08333333 times the sum of the heights that matter. So <laughs> the heights that matter starts from this point here and it goes all the way down. And we are there. And I'm going to type an ending parentheses and hit equals and hope it works out. Okay, I messed something up. I don't think I put an asterisk where I needed one. 
but it looks like it worked out. That is a great problem. All right, so we got 5.78398, and that's what the answer was. Let's move on to the next one with the trapezoidal sums. Likely an easier problem, in my opinion. I'm sure it'll still use a lot of cells, but let's get into it. Starting with x and y. Whoops, sorry. x and y. x value starting at 2 from here. And we're splitting up from 2 to 18 into 164 sub intervals. So we'll do equals in parentheses 18 minus 2, so 16, divided by 164. This is giving us the width of each trapezoid. And we can just use that directly to find all the x values. So we'll do equals, we'll do this plus 0 0.09756. And we can just click and drag this through until we're at 18. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Went way too far. All right. So I guess just before 18, 17.9999, eight should suffice. So we want the y values corresponding to these x values. So we will do equals cosine of 1.31 times b1 raised to the second closed off. And then the same idea applies. We will put the entire cosine of all that stuff in parentheses and then raise it to the second in order to square that cosine. So now we click and drag this across to fill in all these y values here. And then going back to what we know about trapezoidal sums, we want to do equals 0.5. It always starts with 0.5 times the width, which we found was 0 0.09756 times. Now we're dealing with the heights. So we start with the first height plus 2 times the sum of all the in-between heights. So we're basically highlighting all of them. all of them except for that last one there. So we leave that off. We close the parentheses. Now watch up here when I type this since we can't see it right here. So watch up here. Um, we're doing, uh, we finished off that sum. So now we want to close that off one more time to finish off the two times that sum, then plus this last height value. Close off that parentheses. That finishes off the heights and finishes off the entire calculation. So that gives us 7.67517, and a little bit off, that's probably just a decimal thing from here, but of course, picking the closest answer, B is our best answer. Okie dokie, I hope that made some sense. Definitely a challenging problem with all the values to keep track of and, and just being unsure, but I'd say it's a safe bet if you found a close enough answer, you likely did it right, of course because these are insane answer choices. So if you have any questions, please let me know. All right.